Welcome to Pastor Andrew's Inspirations. Today we will talk about the biblical name of Abishag. David and Abishag by Pedro Americo, 1879. Abishag, Bathsheba, Solomon, and Nathan tend to the aging David, circa 1435. Abishag was a beautiful person of Shunem who when brought to David was a Nara which indicates youth and or virginity but not necessarily both according to the Hebrew Bible she was chosen to be a helper and servant to King David in his old age among Abishag's duties was to lie next to him and pass along her animal heat and vigor. They put covers on them, on him, but he could not get warm. In 1 Kings chapter 1 verses 1 to 4 it reads, Now King David was old and stricken in years, and they covered him with clothes, but he got no heat. Wherefore his servants said unto him, let there be sought for my lord the king a young virgin, and let her stand before the king, and let her cherish him, and let her lie in thy bosom, that my lord the king may get heat. So they sought for a fair damsel throughout all the coasts of Israel, and found Abishag, a Shunammite, and brought her to the king. And the damsel was very fair, and cherished the king, and ministered to him, but the king knew her not. The Hebrews believed that the fertility of the soil, and the general prosperity of the people, were bound up with the fertility of the king. David by this time was old and decrepit, and his vigor is called into question. Attempts are made to remedy the situation. The first cure is to heap clothes upon his bed in order to secure such physical heat as might render him capable. When this fails, a search is made for the most beautiful woman in the land. Great emphasis is placed upon Abishag's charms. After David's death, Adonijah, who was David's fourth and eldest surviving son, persuaded Bathsheba. King Solomon's mother to, to entreat the king to permit him to marry Abishag. In 1 Kings chapter 2 verses 17 to 25 it reads, And he said, Speak, I pray thee unto Solomon the king, for he will not say thee nay, that he give me Abishag the Shunammite to wife. And Bathsheba said, Well, I will speak for thee unto the king. Bathsheba therefore went unto King Solomon to speak unto him for Adonijah. And the king rose up to meet her, and bowed himself under, unto her, and sat down on his throne, and caused a seat to be set for the king's mother. And she sat on his right hand. Then she said, I desire one small petition of thee. I pray thee, say me not nay. And the king said unto her, Ask on my mother, for I will not say thee nay. And she said, Let Abishag the Shunammite be given to Adonijah, thy brother, to wife. And king Solomon answered and said unto his mother, and why dost thou ask Abishag the Shunammite for Adonijah? Ask for him the kingdom also, for he is mine elder brother, even for him, and for Abiathar the priest, and for Joab the son of Zeruiah. Then King Solomon swore by the Lord, saying, God do so to me, and more also. If Adonijah have not spoken this word against his own life. Now therefore, as the Lord liveth, 
which hath established me and set me on the throne of David my father, and who hath made me an house, as he promised, Adonijah shall be put to death this day. And King Solomon sent by the hand of Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, and he fell upon him that he died. In the early story of Absalom's rebellion, it is noted that making love with the former king's concubine is a way of proclaiming oneself to be the new king. Adonijah may have asked to marry her at the suggestion of his mother. Some scholars point to the possibility that Abishag is the female protagonist in the Song of Songs. Later Jewish Midrashic and Christian traditions paid little attention to Abishag's role. Abishag's experiences have provided inspiration for contemporary writers including Rainer Marie Rilke, Itzik Manger, Louise Gluck, and Shirley Kaufman. In biblical names, the meaning of the name Abishag is ignorance of the father. This is the biblical name of Abishai. Adonai Nisi, the Lord is our banner. God's blessings be upon you.